these are all the elements I'll be using to style my fall mantle. All right, friends, here is my very bare fireplace right now. Not ready for fall, pretty boring. The only thing that I already have on there is a small little white pumpkin centerpiece that I made ahead of time. All right, friends, here is the centerpiece that I was just telling you about. I did this one ahead of time, but honestly, it is nothing but some baby pumpkins. I found this long, skinny metal tray from Home Goods a few days ago, and I just knew it would be perfect for this. I added some white baby boo pumpkins and some seeded eucalyptus that I got for like three dollars at Trader Joe's and that's pretty much it there's not there's not a whole lot to it as you can see very simple it will um again take center stage here on the fall mantle and it's so pretty and just not a lot you know you guys I don't I don't like when I don't like to decorate over the top I really love natural touches and I actually have a blog post you guys six natural elements you know you can add to your fall decor for cheap decorations because really these pumpkins weren't expensive and neither were the um eucalyptus the tray i want to say was twenty dollars but you don't even need it you could really do this right on the mantle the pump but for me the baby boo pumpkins these tiny ones were so small that i kind of wanted something to elevate them just a little bit but yeah you really do not have to spend a lot of money both of these um work great for a fall centerpiece now i want to add something on the right side. as you can see i have my three candle holders adding some height adding some texture the tall candle holder came from Ross and it was only like seven dollars you guys the two smaller candle holders came from Joanne fabrics a few years ago and they were really inexpensive as well now we need to add something to the left side of our mantle we've added our big clear jug with the faux fall leaves and greenery for some real drama now this mantle really looks like something and I when you're using fake flowers don't forget to kind of you know fluff them out fluff them out a little bit especially if you store them like I do mines have been sitting in a bin for a long time and you know they get all flat and squished up so be sure to to you know really fluff them out to get them looking good and full and you know just bend them naturally like I kind of have this one sort of bending towards the mirror a little bit because leaves wouldn't, you know, leaves and branches wouldn't just all be sticking straight up. Some would be bending sideways, you know, some would go straight, some would bend the opposite. So just, just keep that in mind. It does give it a nicer, fuller look when you fluff out fake um, leaves and greenery and things like that. But yeah, I, I really love how these look. And I've had these fake leaves forever, you guys. You can go back to my... I want to say 2016 fall home tour and you'll see these on the coffee table and back then what I did was use some real fall leaves from outside mixed in with it and it looked great and I so, know for a lot of people you know they might want to add a little bit more um, stuff you know things and I can see that but I really like to keep things simple you guys especially because I'll have you know other stuff going on in the rest of the room lots of pillows there's pattern on the rug so you know that's pretty busy I'll have some things in front of the mantle so I don't want it to be too much when I decorate although right now we're talking about just the mantle I really like to um think about the room as a whole so this is just part of it I don't decorate the mantle as if it's its own thing if that makes any sense at all but you know I kind of think of it like how is it gonna look all together so although this may not seem like a lot but when you step back and take stock of the whole room and you have pillows with patterns and rugs with pattern I'll have more greenery other accessories I you know all of that can be a lot so 
for me this is perfect I'm just thinking I want just a little shine or something here you guys know I love to have a little bling and and there is some already there's you know a little bit of gold around the mirror like the tray I showed you guys is sort of like a bronzy metal so I like things in threes right so I think I might add just a little something else to bring in that feeling can you guys see what I added? My little owl. I had this guy tucked away in the hutch. You might have noticed him if you watch my fall home tour, which was part one. I showed you my formal living room and dining room. So go and check that out if you haven't seen it yet. But yeah, this guy was hanging in there. And I thought, let me take him on out. You know, put him out here. I've had this little owl at least five years. It's a little mercury glass owl. I think you're supposed to put like a little tea light underneath him which would make him I guess glow at night so I might try that but yeah I think it adds the perfect touch to the mantle all right guys here is the finished product I love it you guys again I know very simple not a lot going on but you know that's just me that's how I like to do things I love the glow of the candles the little pop of orange and the leaves and the pumpkin and the gold accents with the mirror and the owl and the you know <laughs> I guess big pumpkin in comparison to the little white ones I just love them mm -hmm.